today to call for an immediate end to forced organ harvesting in China. Organs are taken without consent from Falun Dafa practitioners and then after the body is cremated. It is the worst type of human rights abuse that you can possibly fathom. We have lots of Falun Gong practitioners holding banner on the street today. We want to expose the evil persecution which is happening in China. Lots of Falun Gong practitioners are being beaten, tortured in the jail or labor camps and even persecuted to death. Each year tens of thousands of organ transplants happen in China, but only a few hundred donations are on record. The Chinese regime claims they come from executed prisoners. However, they refuse to provide details of who these donors are. The perpetrators of these crimes are officials from the Chinese Communist Party. I've been uh, practicing Falun Gong since 1996. We have three words, truth, compassion and forbearance to cultivate heart, become a good person. Plus five sets of meditation exercises to achieve healthy body, healthy mind. Chinese people in their hearts and in their traditions do have this understanding of life based on Buddhist and Taoist traditions to be a good person and to follow principles of looking after others and think, thinking of others. And this is where Falun Gong developed in China in the 1990s. People are very supportive. We have asked people to sign a petition, and lots of kind heart Australian people, or even some tourists coming to Australia, visiting Australia, and they show their kind heart and sign the petition. Without fear like you and me have here. 